hello best friends and welcome to Femoski Dev Academy in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create um, an interactive accordion component as you can see it I use it in one of my projects here so just to give you guys um, a brief insight on what we'll be learning today this is it as you can see this is collapsible and also um, it can be expanded and it can also be collapsed so you can have series of um, accordion components inside your FAQ section so this serves as the title is the question and you have um, the description right I'm using several dummy text so just to give a little bit of context so let's dive into today's class um, so this is the component I use so I'm going to be recreating this component but we're not going to go deeper because in this component I have several variants like um, several states of the accordion i have the collapse states um, i also have the expanded states um, for the developers i also have the um, hover states i also have the focus states and i also have my disabled states but we're going to be creating just the ex collapse states and also the expanded states. so let's get right into it so what i'm going to do i need a text element here so i'll type title that's the title of my text um, I'm going to use my textiles here. I'll give it yeah, 18 bold. Now what I'm going to do next is to add auto layout property to this. Auto layout has been added to it, so it's good with auto layout. I'm going to rename this to title. Right? And I'm going to expand this just to any bit of my choice let me say i want it to be around 360 pixels now this is it now the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure that this text is uh is fill container so i want it to fill the whole container so i can in case i have uh, more texts if i have something like um how are you doing i know that it's going to fill the whole of this container so let's go back to having title as our um, label text that's title text here now another component or element that I need is an icon right that's the drop down icon I have um, my components uh, my icon components library so I'll just bring that using shift I excuse and I'm going to type in button as you can see here so I can choose from either of this and let's use this one now this has been added to your auto layouts that's to this container that's that container as you can see here for my layer panel i have the text right i also have this icon which is a component of its own as the drop down so i'll reduce the size of this icon to let's say 20 pixels and it's good to go so just to um, improve the contrast of this um, container i'm going to add a stroke to it so a stroke of let's say grade 30 i have my textiles set yeah if you can't see this let me make it more bold so let's say something like this i'm going to still edit it later just to give you guys a bit of context so that's that so the next thing i want to do is that i want to absolutely position this and i'm going to explain why so i click on this button here that's this button here once an element is inside auto layout let me press ctrl z now, can you see I can't move this element? I can only move it um, to the left hand side and to the right hand side, right? I can take it to the left and also take it back to the right. But what I want to do is that I want to place this, I want it to be independent of the auto layout. I don't want it to react to follow the instruction of the auto layout. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to click on um, this button to absolutely position it for me. So now, if I zoom in a bit, I can move this around. It's still part of the container as you can see here. But you can see the absolute position icon it has changed, right? So you can see this here. So I can move this around. So I want this to be um, 16 pixels from the left and right. And I want it to be positioned in the middle. So I'm going to use alternate B for those that are on the PC. I want something like this. Now I want this my container itself i want it to be the left padding to be 16 pixels then i want the right padding to be 64 pixels now it shows that i have my 
my text property let me set that well i want this to be 16 and comma 64 pixels press enter so as you can see this is my text which is the title and this is what my icon so my icon and the text so in case if i'm having a longer text this text doesn't overlap and if i don't do that if i don't add a, a bit of padding here once i start typing let me take it back let, let's say i have the padding as 16 pixels on both the left and right um padding right i have it as 16 pixels if i keep on typing let's say i keep typing love design and i am the most key dev and i am designing teach so if i have this can you see that it's overlapping this text right we don't want something like that so that's not what we want what we want is we want this text itself to to hit a point whereby it doesn't meet this um icon here so what i do is to add um, a bit of padding here so most times i either use 40 pixels since i'm working with a four point grid system i'm going to make it to the 64 here so once it's 64 as you can see since it's fill container it's make sure that what it's um adjust itself so it doesn't meet this point so that's that so i'll change this back to title and that has been set now the next thing we want to do or well, let's have it as 40 pixels so i think 40 pixels also work you have 40 pixels but it's too close i think 64 is better so let's have 64 pixels yeah now the uh, oh we can have 56 pixels yeah 56 pixels sounds nice yeah this is nice 20 pixels um in between the text now the next thing you want to do is to um also add another frame to this right so once you do that you name this frame your accordion so i'll just copy this name here and paste it here this is my accordion property so inside my accordion right now this is the collapse state i have just this title right and the next thing i'm going to do now you notice something for anyone that noticed before now right when once i typed um once i typed this in a moment let me do this Yeah, once I type, I am famous dev and I love to design awesome. We all move to the beat of our playlist a little differently, and with millions of songs to discover on Spotify I Premium, also it's good to know you can listen to without You notice something, ads. right? Now, Just you don't want this should keep what's yourself. moving. It's because the, it's constrained to the world, to the center. That's on the Tap horizontal, the to learn more. Um, on the vertical axis, it's constrained to the center. So we need to fix this. We want this to always remain at the top here. And that's how we want it to be, right? So what I'm going to do is to click on this, align this to the top. That's align it to the top here using my alignment property here. That's aligned to the top. That's this one here. Now what I'm going to do is to click on this icon here and make sure that this, the horizontal, um constraint is set to top and this is set to what is set to right that's on the the, the vertical is set to top and the horizontal i'm sorry it's trying to save the bits okay yeah. so the vertical is set to top and the horizontal is set to right now once i start typing i start adding more um content to this text i love to design and this is an example can you see of using accordion components now can you see that this doesn't affect this button right this icon the icon still it sticks to the top it's sticky at the top and regardless of the amount of text i have here it's still ticky so we've gotten that out of equation so let me type title here now we have this remember we have our title here and we have this so the next thing i'm going to do is to create this state that is the second state here so i'm going to duplicate this here under accordion property 
and I'm going to um, have a text container here clicking T on my keyboard I have a text container so what I'll do to fast track the whole process I'm going to copy this dummy text here um, if you want that you can also run the um, either you are using the Rolem Ipsen uh, plugin or Lorem Ipsen plugin you can have that so I'll paste this here I have my text um, the size of my text should be 16 pixels I use 16 for now and this is fine I'll make sure that what it is yeah it's position it's hogging yeah auto height yeah that's fine now what I'm going to do is to add another auto layout property to this so I have this here and I'll make sure that the padding on the top and bottom I want it to be like let's say 16 pixels on the top and bottom then on the left and right I'll make sure that it's the same as this title here so what I'll do this is 16 pixels this is um, 56 pixels so I'll come here and make sure that what's my left and right my left is 16 that's 16 pixels and my right is 64 pixels so I have that set so what I'm going to do next is to, to rename this as my description that is what I always use that is the description of the accordion right I have that there so this is a container of its own what I'm going to do is to copy this and click on inside this accordion add auto layout to this accordion and make sure add, added auto layout to this um, state now inside this I'm going to paste that so it means that I have my title inside this I also have my accordion let me move it inside so it comes inside um, control Z so let me see if that is what I did yeah I have that so let me move this around so can you see that together so I have this as my description i have this as what as the title so this is the title and this is this description so you can see this is a little bit um the width is more than the actual width now so what i do is to add since the auto layout property has been added i can make this to be fill container right then this also is going to be what fill container can you see this so no matter the amount of text i have here is going to maintain this width right here so that's that so even if i collapse if i increase the size of this can you see with the auto layout property it's working very fine but this is not working right this is not working fine so what i do is to increase um to make sure that this is also fill container now because i set this constraint down to the um on the horizontal axis it's constraint to the right that's why you can see that this is moving together so now i have um a responsive i've just created a responsive words accordion that's the expand state right that's that and this is this so the next thing i need to do is to check if this is also field container here that's the title here is field container yeah it's fine so that if i'm stretching this also i know that everything is what is so so responsive so i can use this on my mobile device tablet device and also on my desktop device so the last thing i'm going to do right now uh, before i start setting up the component is to create a component out of this right so i have two elements here so what i'm going to do is to select both of them click on this uh, button so i have a drop down here close to the create um, component icon this time i'm not going to create components i'm going to create a component set so this is a component set an accordion component set here now i have two variants here this is the first variant Default states. This is the second variant. So I'm going to add states here. I'm going to rename this. Rename this state property here. S T A. So as the state property should be something as such. In a minute. So this should be our collapse state, right? So I have states here. This will be our collapse state. So I'll rename it here. Collapse. And I have this as what as our extended expanded states. Expanded states. So these are our collapse states and this is the expanded states. So now I've successfully created um this accordion. The last thing I need to do is to make it interactive by adding our prototype here. That's going to the prototype panel. 
I have I, I'm going to add a connection here so click on this and drag it to here so I want anytime the user clicks on this accordion here it's links it changes to what to this so since both of them are variants if you can see this now I have this option as uh, part of my type of interaction right so this is the interaction type here now this is the state is going to what move to what change to this state now I'm going to add a bit of um, animation so smart animate I'm going to leave it at 300 pixels and I think I'm good to go now the next thing I want to do is uh, whenever the user clicks on this title right i want it to go back to this i want it to go back to this now to give a little bit of context and we want this to also change right i want this to change to um the top that's a top um icon so i'm going to change this from here i'll change it to um top right i should have a top icon here or button up yeah this is it here as you can see so this is it so successfully we've created this let me make sure that both of them are having the same width so let's have this at 360 yeah both of them are having the same width uh, i can add auto layout to this to make sure that it's in the middle i need to remove this auto layout so i want when the user clicks on this title here it's also what navigates back to it changes back to this so if they click on here it changes back to this once they click on this section of the title it changes back to this so now let's use this our accordion so i'm going to name this as accordion underscore um now that's what we just created now so i'm going to be using this in our design here so what i'm going to do right now because this um entire ui that you can see here was created I'm using several components so this page is a component of its own so I'm going to um, detach that component here by pressing ctrl and alternate B on my keyboard for those that love shortcuts um, or you can just ctrl Z and go to this detach what um, component so what I'm going to do is to come here inside this my FAQ section and I'm going to now come to my assets panel I'm going to search for what will I search for? Yeah, you got this right. Accordion underscore now. So let's see that. So I have that. So I'm going to bring this and paste it inside here. So this is what we'll be using. Um, now, since I added auto layouts to it, it's responsive. So I can click on fill container. Let me delete others. So let me go back to my layer panel so you can see that. So I'm going to delete all these ones here. That's the initial one that was created. So I have this one. This I'm going to press Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and I have that. So I've added like five more. So now let's check um, our design. That's the prototype and see if it's actually working well. So I'll go to the prototype tab here, and I'm going to refresh this. Now it's loading. It's refreshing. Now can you see we have our new components added here so let's try if that let's say, try and see if that works can you see it drops down it works perfectly well you can see this it works perfectly well now there's something i do since we have added this we have created the components out of this here now what i do is for easy accessibility as a design i'm going to make this i'm going to add a lib a text property here so I'm going to click on this button here. Can you see here? Create text property. And I'm going to name it as the title. And I'll explain why I'm doing that. Then for this right now, I'm going to add a text property and allow it to be what description. And I think I'm good to go. So now whenever I come here on any of the on any of this accordion that I created, right? instead of me double clicking inside i can easily change the title let's say this title is what is your name i can have that now on the expanded states let me change this to the expanded states can you see i'm having lorem ipsum there so let's say i want to change this to my name is Femoski dev and i love to design awesome experiences 
as full stop and i click enter now so you can see this my name is umuski deb and i love to design awesome experiences so what i'm going to do now is to since um i want the user to see the collapse state so i'm going to change this to the collapse state right now let's go back to this and see if that works can you see it has updated here what is your name let me click on that what can you see here my name is Femuski Dev and I love to design awesome experiences so if I want to also change the um, text property of any of them I can just change this to do you own a design academy uh, let's check that out and I'll change this switch back to what expanded I'll change this to yes I am the founder of Femuski Dev Academy. Now I'll click on full stop and that so this is what I want user to first see this question part, right? That's the collapse part. So I'll change this back to what to the collapse states. Uh, let's check type and see if that works. So we have do you own a design academy? Yes, I'm the founder of Femuski Dev Academy. Can you see that so you can keep updating it that way regardless of the amount of text you would want to have now you might be wondering if i scroll down can you see that my designs are actually responsive so it's like working very fine now the reason it's working fine is because every section here was created using the auto layout property so i have my first property here and my first section here sorry that's my main hero section now i have other sections here this is the section container as you can see how i structure my designs i have this so i have section one you can see i have the first section i also have under section here i have under section i have under section other section this is the faq section here i have um the block section and i also have the footer section now i allow this to be what to have this to make sure that it's here well there's an advanced there's more advanced way to achieve this if you want it to be 100 percent um responsive but for now uh i think with this it's we have something right so we can make do with this then in another video i'm going to show you how to create a more responsive landing page or any page in the sense that once you collapse or increase any size of um, any section right other sections are also going to react to it and the main container itself which is the main frame this frame here is also going to adjust to um, that changes that has been named so this is the end of the of this video I hope you learned a thing or two on how to create um, the accordion property, the accordion components, and I hope to see you in the next class. Thank you.